Hi, my name is Sue and I'll be showing you how we do favors here at Triggerfish using ice. Uh, so let's go and create a sphere first. On the sphere we are going to be placing uh, clusters and some texture maps. Just some standard stuff you need. So let's go and make a cluster. And we will name the cluster feathers. And then let's just go and see if it's there. Yeah. And then we go and create a texture map. I'll just leave it as is. We need to create a spherical UV map first. Okay, now that we have our little sphere, we can go and select our cluster we just made and add some soft hair to it. So, soft hair. There we go. The reason I like using soft hair is because it's really easy to style and to change settings and to get nice little effects really quickly um, compared to trying to do it in ice, which it be can become really technical and um, very, it's not really a creative way of doing it, in my opinion. It's very really technical. So, as you can see, just by moving around their little thingies and we already have something that looks kind of interesting so let's just go and style it a bit more just to get something interesting okay let's just use a push there so. okay let's play with the length scale that up awesome looks like something <laughs> cool brushy 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 there we go okay now I'm going to um, rename this and then we're going to create a Milena curve set from this Milena is like a standard little free plugin you can get for your soft I think still maybe but yeah um, I'm going to go and delete the standard nodes because we're going to create some feathers, not fur, but I'm going to keep the set, the curve set that they create. So first we bring in the create feather quills, we connect the right one to the right port, yes that one. <laughs> so connect the curve set and we connect the body geo or the emitter in this case. And then we'll go and um, either use the texture map that I just created. Maybe I'd rather just keep it one color, but it's going to be Lumo. Yeah, it's going to be Lumo. Okay, never mind. Let's just not do that. <laughs> and let's rather just delete that. And we can leave it yellow, but let's rather make it white. Okay, so we're going to go get a randomized by color. And we're going to make it like an offish white color. So let's just, that's going to be also Lumo crazy. Let's just make that variance less. There we go. Now it's like gray. We can see it. Hooray. Okay, so now we continue on. We're going to make this simulated now. Uh, simulate, and we're going to put a post simulation tree in. Uh, this simulation tree is also under my first, and it's create simulation for quills. Let's just play this quick and see what it looks like. Oh, wait. Uh, let's put the emitters in, yeah, okay, emitter, and then we just have to change the name of the sphere to body geo, we have very specific naming convention here at Triggerfish, because we have pipelines, so usually I don't have to do anything, but now I have to, okay, so change the naming, uh, yeah, that looks right, okay, let's play it and see, ah, oh, it's got a bit of a kink in it, yeah, when it starts there, it's probably because of the stiffness. Let's go see. Let's see down. Stiffness is point. Let's make that less. Uh, let's go see now. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, great. Okay, so those are our quills. Um, you grow them like you would grow normal any fur, I suppose. So let's just go rename them. Call them the quills. Uh, point cloud. I see. Point cloud. Yay. Okay. Point out. And now let's go create the veins. Uh, 
in the mains and we go and delete all the standard basic stuff goodbye okay and we name this veins pc okay now we've created veins and uh, those two are joined together they're connected well they will be as soon as i create the veins but let's just say simulation so we're setting up the vector flow quickly uh, in the simulation stack we set up uh, vector flows and just um, velocity and strand position information and then we will go and create a post stack Ooh, not on that yes we won't be doing it on the curve set <laughs> and let's do that and go create ice tree simulation post stack there we go now we go and say create veins that's the wrong node oh my goodness yes that one that's the one I want okay so now we will connect this to the emitter so the body geo the sphere we will connect it to the point cloud because we want to emit from that and I am showing a thousand curves yes this is going to be kind of slow okay and then I will just go and connect it to the curve set and then I'll change that value okay curve set okay so what I basically did now is I connected it to all the other objects let me just go and change this value of a thousand curves it's a little bit much it's a thousand curves plus like 300 veins growing off there and it's my 350 that should run smoothly hooray okay so we've made feathers um the veins are very much connected to the the quills um if the quills are shorter then the veins will also be shorter um lengthwise so the feather size is according to the quill size uh let's go play with the length a bit let me just change these settings in here um i wonder what the length is of this feather probably to 0 0.2 maybe 0 0.25 let me just go check okay 0 0.25 yeah okay so we will say we'll vary it by like 0.25 by 0.5 mm, maybe make that 0.2 okay okay and now you can see we have a bit of a more realistic looking feather not so perfect all over uh, maybe if we want to go and change the shape a bit to get something interesting, you get some peacocks with some really cool looking feathers. Um, we could probably do that using our little curvy. So let's go and change them a bit. So we, uh, wait, first let me just explain this. Um, because the coils and the veins are connected, um, just a note to keep in mind when you're working with this is you, when you adjust the segments the number of segments on the quill you also have to go and adjust the number of veins that are being emitted obviously because they grow off of the points on the quill so if you change the quills only then it'll change the shapes and it'll look strange um, so you can't really see it with tin okay let's make it like 50 or something and you can see what I'm talking about 50 yes so you can see it's doing a weird like duplication but if I change the other one to 50 as well then it looks right again so just something to keep in mind okay let's go play with the shape so the shape is round at the moment just a plain normal feather but you can also go and adjust that and then it'll update and make pretty shapes so you can go make triangle feathers if you want let's make triangle feathers hooray we make weird feathers and then they will look very strange <laughs> um, 
yeah, so those are our feathers and how we've been using them. This is very much work in progress, just so you know. So there are a few weird kinks here and there. Um, the shape obviously can get modified so that it doesn't just affect both sides equally. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what we're using. Thanks.